Hey everybody, it's Woken Dead back with video. Uh, today I figured I'd kind of talk about three titles that I recently started reading. Um, was kind of disappointed, to be honest with you. It was, uh, there's three Marvel titles that uh, I was given a chance. Um, I, uh, I'm just not a big fan of Marvel right now. It's just... They, it seems like ever since Disney bought them, they just have like an overwhelming, like liberal thing going on. And, uh, <clears throat> like the whole social justice warrior, like air about everything that they write, you know, it's just like some kind of stigma that I just can't get past. Um, very irritating there's only a couple of marvel titles that that i can open up a book and not get completely bored you know halfway through it so the first one that i started reading it just came out um is spider-man 2 Ugh. i love the artwork sarah pichelli is absolutely one of the best newer artists out there um don't have any problems with the art whatsoever the art is is very very good uh, the problem i have the story just i don't know man just does not do it for me um i don't know like i say it's, it's just some kind of liberal stigma bull crap that they got going on at marvel right now um yeah the it was garbage. I won't buy the the second the second one, just because it just turned me off. If you have a rebuttal on that, please let me know what it is. Uh, the second title that I read that I really enjoyed actually, um, Man Thing. Arl Stein jumped on. You know he's famous for goosebumps and all that, and you can kind of see that in uh, in the writing. You can he's got that kind of goofy tongue in cheek kind of humor in the in the background um but this turned out to be a pretty cool man thing story um a little unique different um i love the artwork uh german peralta um real good i i wasn't wasn't completely uh completely put off by this one this one was all right and i hope they do some more stuff I read the first five issues of it, and uh, and I'd love to read some more of that one. It was it was decent. I can't. It's no like, you know, Old Man Logan is probably my standard for the Marvel titles right now. Um, as far as favorite, the writing's great, but guess what? Jeff Lemire's leaving, so we'll see what happens with that title. It's probably going to tank, but that's just me being pessimistic. But the first uh, 25, 30 issues are fantastic. Um, you know, I don't, and I'm not, and I'm not dogging on Marvel uh, as a whole because they've done a lot of great stuff over the years. I'm just saying, right now, I don't know what it is. It's just they're killing me. It, it, you know, me as a a conservative male, it's not where my interests are right now. Uh, their stuff is not interesting to me in general. The third title was, uh, the, uh, Howling Commandos of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, Deadpool 2323 gave me this, the first set, or it's like a limited series, first six. It was okay. It was okay. I like the monsters, you know, obviously Man-Thing's part of the team. I thought that was really cool. I like the monster, uh, team. It kind of reminds me, reading this, it reminded me a lot of Suicide Squad. Um, almost like Marvel's answer to Suicide Squad. Uh, if anybody disagrees with that, let me know. Or agrees with it, let me know. Um, it's okay. The art, to me, was not horrible. Um, it, it's, it looked too canned. Like, it wasn't... Um, it's just too too processed or perfect or something. I, I kind of like messier, like, um, 
art, art with with uh, with passion in it, and it just the art just seemed to fall flat for me. Um, the story was okay, even though it is Frank Barbieri who I like, uh, or Barbier who I like from Five Ghosts. He's one of the guys that did uh, you know the Five Ghosts series. Um, yeah, that's like his baby, I guess, his independent baby, but um, not horrible. I wouldn't say I hated it as much as Spider Man Two. Um, didn't like it as much as Man Thing. Um, these are just the things, the the titles that I was reading this week and got into. Um, you get, let me know what you guys are reading, and if you have any issues with what I said, let me hear your your rebuttal on it, and let's talk about why Marvel is pretty much in the garbage right now as far as writing and storytelling in 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 a in the in the big scheme um you know and i'm just, i'm just talking about in the last couple years um all right it's woken dead talk to you soon